God created them right. The earth has released one day. That day was the day Joshua said, Son, stand still. That's a nonsensical piece of medical muscle. Gauge. 
means to measure your righteousness and your grace. Let me repeat it again. Faith is the yardstick. Faith is the tool that you use to measure your righteousness and the grace of God upon your life. No faith, no righteousness. No faith, no grace. For without faith, is it possible to please God? <laughs> Abraham believed God and it was counted of him as righteousness. We are saved by grace through what? Faith. God is your greatest strength. <laughs> Faith is the measure, is, is the yastic to measure what? Your righteousness and your grace. Faith will bring you to the understanding that God is your greatest protection and your greatest strength. In life. So what does that mean? Faith will make you understand when you are in obedience with the will of God, you are at your utmost potential. Nothing, no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. Faith also makes you know that when you are against the will of God, you are heading towards the greatest danger. The second, the third thing is Holy Spirit. The only one you have to be. The fourth one is prosperity. People can never weigh you with your condition or situation after you have planted your avocado tree. Because it must take years before it grows. Praise the Lord, church. But when it grows, your breakthrough starts. Within the time you are nurturing your avocado pear, all you need to be doing is still sowing seed. The Bible says there are those that went on sowing in tears, but definitely they shall reap with joy. The fifth one is relationship. And I've dealt with families through church because they are the same thing. Family is the physical. Family. Why church is the spiritual family? Spiritual and the physical. Which one is? Which one is? How do I put it? Which one comes first? Concerning us, spiritual and physical. Spiritual. Do you know why? There's no way God would have created earth without heaven first. Heaven is the source of what is needed or what was needed to create the earth. So spiritual things controls physical things. So family and relationship, family and church, which one is more important? It's very challenging, but this is true. We have to. Which one is more important? It's your church. Because family is about the flesh. You can refer it to blood. But the church, you talk about the spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, why did I use that? Family and church. If you are able to understand the relationship between you and your parents and your sisters and your brothers. You know, there are things your brothers can do to you. You will, you will just forgive them because they are your brothers and your sisters. Then you will understand the family called church. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I dealt on the next one, what? Marriage. And now I want to deal on company. 
It's still part of relationship. Let's take some scriptures. Please, don't jump out of yourself if you see all these scriptures we are going to mention. Let's start first with Romans chapter 16 verse 17. I just ask one question and if you answer it I think I'm done with my message Romans 16 17 Romans 16 17 Romans 16 17 company <laughs> I wrote on Facebook this morning I said 75% cause or reasons for our failures, for failures in our lives, is wrong company. Yeah, yes, sir. I urge you. I urge you. My brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Watch out for those who cause divisions. Now listen to me. In your life, as you grow, as you do everything you do in life. As you grow from nursery school to primary school, kindergarten, you say, watch out. Continue. Divisions and also Please start again. Watch out for. We have okay. I urge you, my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. watch out for those who cause divisions and upset people's faith and go against the teaching which you have received. Keep away from them. You see what the version of the Bible says? That one says, keep away from them. Another version will say, reject them. Church, can I shock you with this statement? Do you know there are seven people, seven types of people you don't need in your life? One day I will teach it. If they come to you, run away from them. It's not about holiness. Forget about, you know, about God. God does, God does it in overflow. Listen to me. He does it in overflow. The ability to control. Let me give you an example. Why is it that we cut our hair? Shepherd. Why do we cut it? If you have been leaving your hair since you were born, now okay, look at James. There's one of you, if you have been leaving your hair, you've not cut it. Oh, this is God's blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 20 years, what? The same hair. <laughs> Yes, your behavior. Am I making sense? Yes. Is it not from God? Hey, are they not from God? Those hair coming in. The Bible says he, he has numbered every hair. He has number for each hair on your head. It's his property. Now just imagine Brother James. Every 40 years, 30 years, 50 years, he's still having this. No razor has entered his head. <laughs> Do you know that he will use trailer to carry his? Head to come here. I'm telling you the truth. Have you, there was a man on the sea and then he has not caught his hair for how many years? About 15 or 10 years. You need to see the man's hair. He carries it with weapon. Is it not God blessing? It's God blessed. But why are you going to the why did you why, why do you cut it off? The same way he did. Oh, 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 oh. Let me show you something in the scripture. Ecclesiastes chapter. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, you should, Ecclesiastes, can you get Ecclesiastes? Ecclesiastes 7, Ecclesiastes 7, 16. Ecclesiastes 7, 16, if I'm not mistaken. Be not righteous over much. That's it, that's it, can you read it last? Be not righteous over much. Do not be over evil righteousness, evil righteousness, evil Righteousness. Excess righteousness is sin. <laughs> Do not be over righteous. I read that another one. He said too much. I don't make myself over wise. He said over wisdom also is sin. Ecclesiastes. 7 16. Now, do you know why it is like that? Church. Do you know why it's like that? Hebrew. Mm. 11 40. Hebrews. Don't change. 
Do you see this person? 